Betsy Byers, a great American author, novelist, and freelance writer. Betsy was born on August 7, 1928, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Betsy's father was a cotton mill executive. And her mother was a homemaker. Her early childhood was spent during the Great Depression. She attended Furman University in Greenville, South Carolina from 1946 to 1948. Then she transferred to Queens College in Charlotte where she was graduated in 1950 with a bachelor's in English. After graduating, Betsy met Edward Ford Briars, a graduate student in engineering at Clemson University. They were married June 24, 1950. They had three daughters and one son between 1951 and 1958. Her daughters are Lori, Betsy Ann, and Nan, and her son is Guy. Two of her daughters, Lori and Betsy Ann, are also children's book authors. In 1956, Betsy and her family moved from Clemson, South Carolina to Urbana, Illinois, where her husband, Edward, pursued his graduate studies at the University of Illinois, eventually becoming a professor of engineering. While her husband was busy with his studies, Betsy began writing columns and short stories for magazines. The Midnight Box, a realistic fiction, is about a young boy named Tom who has to spend his summer on his aunt's farm while his parents travel through Europe. Tom is uncomfortable and unappreciative of nature. But as time goes on and he encounters a black fox, he finds himself spending his days interested in her and in her life. He becomes comfortable with himself and comfortable with nature and the things around him. The Midnight Fox won the Book of the Year Selection Child Association of America Award in 1968. The Midnight Fox also won the Lewis Carroll Shelf Award in 1970. The Summer of Swans is a heartwarming fiction novel about a 14-year-old girl, Sarah, who embarks on a journey to find her missing, mentally challenged brother, Charlie. The Summer of Swans won the Book of the Year Selection Child Association of America Award in 1970. The Summer of Swans also won the Newbery Medal in 1971. The 18th Emergency, a suspenseful original fiction about a boy who is caught red-handed making fun of the school bullying and now he does not know whether to stand up for himself or to run for his life. The 18th Emergency won the Book of the Year Selection Child Association of America Award in 1973. The 18th Emergency also won the Dorothy Canfield Fisher Memorial Book Award in 1975. The Night Swimmers, 
is a story about a young girl named Retta who has to take care of her two younger brothers, Johnny and Roy, because their mother has passed away and their father works nights as a singer. This book won the Book of the Year Selection Child Association Award in 1980, the American Award in 1981, and the Boston Globe Horn Book Honor. Betsy is now 83 years old and lives with her husband Edward on an airstrip in South Carolina. They are both pilots. The bottom floor of Betsy's house is a hunger so they can take off by plane from their front yard and the top floor of the house serves as Betsy's studio where she continues to write. 